All right, here's a quick video on my 1953 Silverdome travel trailer. It's, it's beautiful, as you can see. It has not been fully restored. It has been cleaned up, painted, new floor installed, new electric installed. It works great. It looks great, but it is not perfect by any means. It is 70 years old. It's got these awesome big windows you can see inside. And each side window has screens on them, and they the sides of these two windows open with screens and remember as I said this thing isn't perfect if you look above this cool little window um, gutter around the window there is looks like some body work has been done there and then if you look here it looks like some body work has been done here and here's even a hole it looks like where someone pulled a dent out maybe and the body's not perfectly straight but the only Bondo appears to be what I've shown you so far and then up here again. The other side seems to be absolutely fine. And it's got a nice fresh paint job from 2016. Modern electric, completely rewired, modern plumbing. It does not have holding tanks. There probably is room for holding tanks. But right now it's a park model. And it is 70 years old, so I don't know how much I would... Uh, travel with this on long distances although it made it from Asheville North Carolina to here which is over 2,000 miles and it did fine front window has uh, two side windows that open with screens again beautiful tanks painted to match and then here's the it's got two doors on the side don't know if you can see the second door in the darkness but it's got two doors on the side and each door has wooden screen door. Check out the wooden screen door. And then behind that, the old metal door, which is, or steel door, which is beautiful. Looks like you're out of a submarine. And I really love the little features of this, like this little knocker. Hello, hello, it's me. And the original hardware. And then, oh, it's got these cool steps that you just push down and, and pull out. And voila, we've got silver dome steps. How cool is that? And then inside, it's got a bamboo floor, new three quarter inch plywood subfloor beneath it. It's got these cool light fixtures. And this is kind of the front, which is the living room of it. And the living room kitchen. And that is a couch that folds into a bed. I would definitely put a new mattress on it. It's pretty old. Um, and then you can see, as I mentioned, it had a leak on the roof and it did that damage to this one sheet of uh, birch. I've got some extra sheets of birch that uh, need to be stained and put in. Um, I've heard it is a very easy task, but I haven't done it, so it must be somewhat hard or I would have done it already, I suppose. Cool little shelving with lights. Again, beautiful windows storage space up there that you can probably barely see but there's a lot of storage up there outside light switch and now let's look at the kitchen it's got a really beautiful old antique original stove with a clock that works really cool backsplash and amazing cabinetry and then here on the other side more amazing cabinetry a microwave that's never been used, refrigerator that's never been used, brand new, and two big closets on either side of the fridge. Here's the, the front closet, nice and big. And here is the rear closet, which has two doors. And the rear closet, I probably should keep this upright. I'm sorry if that made you dizzy, but it's a big closet. And then one of the coolest things is back here for the bedroom. There's a sliding door that can slide out and block it off completely or slide back in so you can go through. Oh, really cool kitchen cabinets. And then let's go to the back. Here's the little bedroom. It is little from, from the edge right here to the back wall at the bottom is, is five feet. I was gonna build a cool circular bed back here. As you can look, it's nice and curved. And the wall does come in if you've seen the back of this. And again, it's got windows with little hand cranks. The whole thing, this whole window cranks out with screens. This whole window cranks out with screens. 
another nice light. Uh, this mirror is obviously in need of a new mirror right here. It's not really, I'm sure it's not original anyway. And then here we've got the back door with another nice wooden uh, screen door on it. Um, you can see part of the, uh, the wall and the trim are splitting a little bit right there. I was told by the guys that sold it to me that the way to do that is to reach in with a piece of fishing line and hook it and then pull it shut. I have not tried such a thing. The ceiling is six foot six approximately. I'm six foot three and I've got plenty of headroom in here. Here is the beautiful full bath. 